Hello and welcome to Alat 360 Analysts and Experts. I'm Michael Schachter and I'm here today to discuss network visibility and control with Peter Lobo, Director of Product Management at Alat. Hello, Peter. Hey, Michael. So, Peter, the first question I'd like to ask is, what is the added value that Alat's smart visibility gives to the service provider on top of what they can already get from network vendor reporting packages? Well, in a world or two, if you like, it would be granularity and accuracy. Whereas network vendors equipment mainly provides network metrics kind of analytics, they rarely if at all have visibility into the, the detailed application or per subscriber consumption. Whereas a lot uh, clearly provides based on AI and machine learning derives intelligent insights that translate into layer seven per application visibility per subscriber consumption, which is uh, then translated into closed loop automation scenarios in real time. So Peter, I understand that the ClearSea smart visibility gains access to a lot of granular information, but can this information also be integrated with third party systems with big data applications or data lakes, if you will, that a large scale service provider might already be using in their organization? Yeah, uh, of course. Well, on top of the out-of-the-box interactive dashboards and real-time monitors that the smart visibility provides, it also, the ClearSea also features raw data as well as curated smart data exports, which are uh, formatted for easy ingestion, as they call it, into third-party big data systems. So with all this access to a variety of data and traffic reports and so on, what would you say is the leading use case that ClearSea and Smart Visibility makes possible for service providers? Well, <clears throat> I would say that the, one of the main use cases that ClearSea makes feasible is enabling the service provider to maximize the subscriber's perceived QoE while controlling capacity investments to where and when absolutely required. We've been reported by customers that they were able to defer capacity expansions by one to two years with an ROI of month that can be counted on one hand without impacting the subscriber's perceived QoE. And we are able to do so by actually providing context-based prioritization of the consumed applications to derive the relevant KQIs of the, let's call it the mission critical application that is consumed by the subscriber. So the perceived QOE can be maintained. So Peter, from an operational point of view, what you're saying is that the service provider gets maximum value out of the deployed network while ensuring that the quality of experience is maintained without having to deploy more infrastructure uh, to keep up with consumption and, and, and data usage. And that sounds great. Uh, I'm wondering if there are also more marketing or business driven uses for the granular data that you described earlier. Of course. <clears throat> we leverage several uh, business-related and marketing-driven use cases ranging from churn reduction through uh, introduction of new services or applications all the way to fraud detection and prevention. For example, a couple of our Tier 1 customers have utilized uh, the smart visibility for the introduction of new VoIP and music streaming applications to, to monitor the, their adoption and follow up on the marketing side for marketing campaigns that can drive the successful integration of the new services. You mentioned earlier out-of-the-box dashboards and built-in reporting packages, but I imagine it's, a, it's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. Service providers are notoriously uh, individual in their, in their needs. What or how can this visibility and the ClearSea platform uh, provide reports that we didn't include in, in our packaging? Well, one of the, the 
key strengths of the smart visibility is the clearly self-service capability. As it's called self-service, it's accessible to the end user and it, where we provide an interface for the subscribers to all the underlying data sets that we acquire from the network and from on, on the subscribers and on the signaling layer. And the key strength here is the ability to turn any unforeseen business query into actionable dashboards and insights available at the customer fingertips. So Peter, did I understand that when you say self-service reporting, the end user, without needing a lot of professional services, can actually access the underlying data to build their own reports? Yeah, you got it right. Basically, the, the ClearSea, the self-service features the, an interface for the customers where they can uh, build their own dashboards and reports based on all the underlying data that is available and uh, extracted through the Allot uh, deep packet capabilities. Of course, if the customer, customers need professional services, then we, will, we are always happy to facilitate both with data scientists and uh, technical, f technical help to provide the dashboards that are required. Thank you, Peter. Uh, that Thank sounds you. like a very powerful set of features. That brings this session to a close. I look forward to seeing you all on the next Allot 360.